The four feathers on this hat are magic. They enable Tex Tucker's dog and horse to speak and his guns to fire without him even touching them. And now, another exciting adventure from Four Feather Falls. in gold there, Mr. Jackson. I'd like to leave it safe with you till I move on to St. Louis. Well, 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 my, my, my. <laughs> you sure hit it rich, Bill. Yep. Five years I've been working that claim of mine. Oh, but I guess it's been worth it. From now on, life's gonna be real easy for me. Your gold will be safe enough with me. Oh, yes, indeedy. Especially with Sheriff Tex Tucker around. <laughs> well, so long, Mr. Jackson. And thanks. So long, Bill. And uh, why don't we rob Bill Asher of his gold before he take it into the bank? You tell me. Why? Did you know he got gold? No. Did I know he got gold? No. Fernando, you gotta have brains. I got the brains. It's all figured out. <laughs> Far away in the mountains, in good old western times, they built a tiny railroad that ran down from the mines. And nowadays you'll find it a working just the same. And the folks come from all over to see this little train. It goes choo choo. Rick a rackety a choo choo. Then it blows again. Choo choo. It's the funny little rick a rick a rackety train. It goes puff puff, rick a rackety a puff puff as it feels the strain. Puff puff. It's the funny little rick a rick a rackety train. There's the quaintest driver you've ever seen, and they call him Railroad Jack. There's a funny old fireman getting up steam as they shuffle and shuffle along the track. It goes choo choo, rick a rackety a choo choo. Right across the plain, choo-choo. It's the funny little rick a rick a rackety train. The rick a rick a rackety train, yes, yeah, the rick a rick a rackety train. Gee, Tex, that was mighty nice. Well, guess I've earned my supper. Come on, Dusty, let's lock up and go eat. Uh, kind of quiet tonight, ain't it, Rocky? Like we was gonna have a storm. Oh, dear, I do hope not. If there's one thing I dislike, it's a... <laughs> Lightning. Oh, goodness. I, 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 I think I'd better get back to my stable. Take it easy, old pal. It's a long ways off yet. Rocky. Dusty. Look. That's no lightning. That's a prairie fire. If the wind should change, that fire could burn this town to the ground. Dusty, you stay here. I'm gonna round up some of the boys and get out there just as quick as I can. But you can't go without me. A fire ain't no place for you, Dusty. But, boss! There's nothing you can do there, old timer. Anyway, with all that gold in the bank, somebody's gonna be in charge while I'm gone. Okay, boss, if you say so. Oh, Dusty. Yes, boss. Seeing as how you're gonna look after things for me, I hereby appoint you to be deputy sheriff 
of Four Feather Falls. Oh, gee, thanks, boss. I'll keep the peace while you're gone. If that ain't Pedro, I'll eat my new star. Doggone it, if that no good yellow livered polecat is here, he's sure up to no good. Fernando. I'll be sheriff. Go on. Uh, just like I tell you, you gotta have brains. All right, you got a brains. But we no got a shock anymore. All right, all right. So, we burn at a shack, huh? <laughs> With five thousand dollars, we buy Hacienda. So, that's it, eh? They started the fire so they can get everybody out of town. Then they stick up the bank and grab Bill's gold. Now, I tell you. I tell you what do we do. What am I gonna do? I gotta do something. I'm the deputy, supposed to keep the peace. Oh, the boss, that's it. I gotta go after him, I gotta warn him. Well, everything's under control now, Rocky. I guess we'll be heading for home. The boys will be following on. <laughs> Oh, shall I be glad to get away from all this disgusting smoke? They ought to be ashamed of themselves. I still can't figure it. How come the shack burned down and no sign of Pedro and Fernando? Well, we sure lost our beauty sleep tonight, old timer. Reckon Dusty will have hit the hay long ago. The boss. I gotta get to the boss. I gotta keep going. Just think, Fernando. In just a little while, we're gonna be rich. <laughs> What's the first thing you are going to do with all that money? <laughs> uh, the first thing I'm gonna do, <laughs> I'm gonna buy me a new hat, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna buy me a lot of new hats. <laughs> <laughs> I mustn't give up. I mustn't give up. The boss can't be far away now. I... I gotta keep going. Arr, 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 arr. Did you hear that, Rocky? Sounds like Dusty. Something must have happened. What is it, Dusty old fellow? Now, Dusty, don't get so excited. I can't understand a word you're saying. <coughs> Rocky, what's the matter with him? Your hat. Look, you've lost his feather. He can't speak. Rocky, you're right. It's gone. The feather, quick. We've got to find it. <laughs> What is it, Dusty? Now tell me. Pedro Fernando, they started the fire to get you out of town. Gently, Dusty. You gotta do something, boss. You gotta, they're gonna rob the bank. Mr. Jackson! Mr. Jackson, it's Pedro. You come out and bring the gold, or we bust the place wide open. Yes, Mr. Jackson, we bust the place wide open. Mr. Jackson, you want us to come in and get you? Yeah, you want us to come in and get you? Why well, you have to say everything I say? Oh, no, no. Don't shoot, Pedro. <laughs> Please, uh, uh, don't, don't, don't shoot. <laughs> no, Mr. Jackson. Don't let him get my gold. 
don't let him get my gold. What do you mean, your gold? It's gonna be my gold now. Five long years I worked to get that gold, and you ain't gonna take it away from me. Stay where you are, senor. One more step, and I shoot. I ain't gonna let you take that gold, Pedro. You'll have to kill me first. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly, senor. <laughs> Anything you say. Tax Tucker! I warned you to keep out of this town, didn't I? Seems now I'll have to teach you a lesson. No, sh Sheriff. No, please. Don't do it. Don't. I ain't got many hats left now. <laughs> no. <laughs> you were only fooling, Sheriff, huh? You haven't spoiled my beautiful hat after all. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Sheriff. Pedro will not bother you again. Oh, Tugan, Tex of Texas, is a guy with the straightest deal. But he keeps the law with the fastest draw and a nervous strongest deal. Oh, Tugan, Tex of Texas, is a friend who'd never fail. But if you did wrong, wouldn't take him long to clap you right in jail. He's known throughout all Kansas, through every single mile, as a rootin' tootin' highfalutin' sheriff with a smile. Tugan Tex of Texas will never let you down, but play it bad and he'll get mad, so cover your tracks from Tugan Tex, the smartest guy in town, the smartest guy in town.